David Booth with Case Age, and uh, this afternoon we want to go through some critical settings uh, on our corn head adjustments for harvest this year. First thing we want to look at is our deck plate adjustment here. So a good rule of thumb is to make sure that we're an eighth of an inch wider at the back of that setting than we are at the front, and that will allow the trash and material to feed through there without plugging up in that real unit itself. The next adjustment we want to look at is our knife roll. So we use a point to point knife roll and we want to make sure that those knives are good and sharp. Uh, the worn out knives they won't be able to process the stock uh, efficiently and we want to make sure as we're processing that stock that it's being processed up here about half to three quarters of the way up that deck plate. We've got three areas of adjustment in our in our rotor area so the first thing we can do is adjust our concave clearance um, and that's going to move the concave closer to that rasp bar um, and speed up that material through flow through the rotor. The second adjustment is going to be our actual rotor speed, which is done from the cab. So we can increase or decrease the speed that way. And the third adjustment is going to be to either stand up or lay down our rotor vanes. When you get your machine out of the shed for the first time for the season, make sure that you check uh, in your radiator area where your cooling fan is. Uh, raccoons like to make a home in there, and it can be very expensive if we don't get those out before we start the machine. The clean grain elevator has two speeds. It's a high speed and a low speed. Um, if you're in high yielding uh, wet corn with a large corn head, we want to make sure that you're running your elevator in high speed so we can move that clean grain efficiently uh, up to the tank. The other thing you want to make an adjustment on is your elevator chain. So your proper tension should be just to move the link on the bottom uh, side to side. You shouldn't have it so loose that you can pull it down and it shouldn't be so tight that you can't slide it. 